We're excited about getting input on future X prizes from the public, from potential sponsors, from students, from people who've got a problem that they want solved. So let me share with you a little bit about what makes uh, an X prize tick and what rules work. It's important that when an X prize is defined, it is for a real stretch goal. It's not for a small incremental improvement. It's for a radical breakthrough. When we talk about an X prize, we're looking for something that will be typically won in a three to eight year period of time. If it's won in less than three years, it was too easy and should not have been an X prize. If it takes too much longer than eight years, then the public's not going to be interested. Now, how do you do that? How do you dial in a three to eight year time frame? You do that by really what we call changing the dials. With the original Ansari X Prize, we had it uh, that you had to build a private spaceship, 90% private funding, fly three people up to 100 kilometers, come back and do it again within two weeks. Now, everybody told me, Peter, if it doesn't go to orbit, it's not significant enough. And if we had had the original Ansari X Prize being to go to orbit, it would have never been won in the time frame that was significant. We brought it down from orbit originally to 100 miles. And we actually did the reentry characteristics of the vehicles and said, you know, even 100 miles is too high. We brought it from 100 miles down to 62 uh, miles or 100 kilometers. And by bringing it down to that level, we were able to do something that we thought was winnable. And we have this concept we call audacity versus achievability. We're looking for a prize that is sufficiently audacious, that the public's excited, but it's achievable. So as you're thinking about an X prize, I ask you to think about what's going to make it audacious but achievable in a three to eight year time frame. The other elements is it's got to be sexy, it's got to be exciting, it's got to be something which has elements that the public cares about. A lot of times, X prizes are not about the technology. They're not about the widget. It wasn't about a propulsion system for the Ansari X Prize. It was about the human drama. It was about Burt Rutan battling John Carmack, battling, battling Brian Feeney. It was about these people, you know, uh, Mike and Brian, you know, risking their lives to fly on this vehicle. It was about the fact that the three-seat vehicle meant that you could be a, a pilot and you in the back of the seat. So how do you build a prize that kids and adults will dream about, that the global media will follow? So making sure it's exciting and sexy and fun and of real significance. And making sure, the other element is making sure that an X Prize has a, a follow-on business model. Traditionally, prizes will garner a large amount more. So for example, with the original Orteg Prize that Lindbergh went after, was $25,000, but you had teams spending $50,000, $100,000. In the case of the Ansari X Prize, you had Paul Allen spend over $20 million to win a $10 million prize. Why? Because there is a business model that can follow. The prize proves the paradigm and says, wow, this is, this is doable. Now we can build private spaceships that fly you know, thousands and eventually tens of thousands of people into space, so I'm willing to invest more. So those are some of the key attributes uh, for designing your X Prize. Objective, clear objective rules. Exciting, people care about people. You know, a great movie is not about the car or the widget, it's about the people in the movie. Same thing about an X Prize. And the third thing is it's significant. It's a game-changing competition. I look forward to seeing your input.